Hello YouTube and welcome to another Windows tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to actually backup Active Directory services. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, so here I'm connected to my domain controller. Okay. So if I go to uh, Active Directory users and computer, you can see here that I am I have a domain here called aminos.local okay and inside this domain I have uh, some elements I created actually an organizational unit called cells which contains actually three users okay so for the demonstration of this video I'm gonna actually backup this active directory domain and then delete this uh, organizational unit and restore our Active Directory to see if we can actually recover this deleted organizational unit with its uh, users. Okay, so the process here is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So, in order to actually backup uh, Active Directory, we have to install Windows Server Backup. Okay, so we go actually to our uh, Server Manager. Okay, so we click here Add Rules and Features. Okay. So it's couple of next, then it's a role based or feature based installation. So I'm gonna hit next, then I'm choosing here my uh, local domain controller. So I will hit next. And after that, I have to go to the features with the next. And if I scroll to the bottom here, you can see that actually we have to check this box here Windows Server Backup okay so as you can see here for the description Windows Server Backup allows you to backup and recover your operating system application and data but here we are just interested in actually backing our Active Directory so I will hit hit next then install okay So we'll be waiting for the installation to complete. Here we go. So as you can see here, a restart is pending on the server. You must restart the destination server to finish the installation. So I'll hit hit close here. And of course, I have to restart my server so let's restart our domain controller here so I'll close all the open windows and I'll just hit here restart so it's other or actually it's planned operating system uh, we can just choose other plant Okay, so let's continue. So our server will be actually restarting in order to complete installation of our Windows Server Backup feature. Okay, so let's connect using our credentials for the domain. Here we go. Okay, now, so let's verify that the Windows Server Backup has been installed. Okay, so in order to verify that, actually, you have to go your tools then you have to find here a Windows Server Backup okay so if I click on it you can see here that I have WB Admin which is a Windows Server Backup GUI but here in this video we are not going to use this GUI of course you can use it if you want but here we are not going to use it we are going to use the easiest method which is to use the command line okay so I will dismiss that and I will actually 
open our command prompt here and always right click and run it as an administrator okay so here we go so when we have installed this feature actually a command has been added to our system this command is WP which stands for Windows Backup Admin so actually we'll be using this uh, command in order to backup our Active Directory so remember we have Active Directory domain with an organizational unit called cells so let's first backup this domain so we'll be using the command WP admin then start then system state backup state backup okay and here we have to specify where we want to actually the backup resides so with the option here backup target backup target so you can specify for example here a partition so if you for example if you want to uh, install it in the partition T you just type T column okay or if you have a network share you can also do that with the IP address of the distant server if you want but me I will just create it here in the C drive so I will create a directory for example called backup and I will be actually saving the backup here in this folder so here I have to provide here the path to this backup directory which is backup okay so it's simple as that so let's hit enter and see what we get so here this will backup the system state from volume okay to this backup directory so here we we want if you want to start the backup so you have to answer with the why or no so of course we want to answer with the why in order to launch the backup here we go here we have actually an error the specified backup location could not be found or it's not supported backup storage location so this is common because actually by default you cannot backup on the same directory where your system files exist so it's better to install it on other partition like partition T or C for example D or E sorry so I'll be creating another partition called for example E in order to install it so here we go if I go to my PC here you can see that I have new partition called E so I will install the backup inside this partition okay so let's execute the same command and here we have to replace the first one by E so let's launch it and let's answer yes here we go enter and now the backup process will be actually started So here as you can see it has created a shadow copy of the volume specified for backup and Windows Server Backup is updating the existing backup to remove files that have been deleted from your server since the last backup okay then it will go for a process of identification of the files And finally it will actually backup pin all files okay so after a while you will see that the backup operation successfully completed okay so the backup of the system state successfully completed on this time and date and of course you will find a log file inside your directory where you have actually saved your backup so let's verify this backup actually so before the E was empty now it contains almost 12 actually gigabytes 
and of course if you go to this Windows image backup you will find here a directory with the name of your server and of course a lot of uh, or just for uh, directories with the logs so you can see the log error if you have some error you will find it here but if you have some error or advise you to repeat the backup until you have no errors okay so now in order to test this backup let's go back to our windows users and computers okay here we go and let's delete this cells organizational unit okay so let's delete it yes and use delete subtree in order to delete also the users inside okay so the cells organizational unit has gone now we'll try to recover it using the wp admin okay so in order to do that uh, we have to boot up our server in special mode okay i will show you how we can do it so i will use the run command and i will tap msconfig and under the boot tab you can find here for the boot options we, we choose actually safe mode and we have to choose here active directory repair mode in order to boot in this mode or if you want to restart your server you have to choose function key 8 and choose active directory repair okay so i'll hit apply then okay and now i have to restart our server and to go to this special mode in order to recover our active directory so let's go to actually this mode here so the server will restart for, of course okay so the server has been restarted so you can see here the, the message we can't sign in to our domain so we have to log on with the local user account okay here so my local user account is administrator administrator okay and okay so let's log on to this mod which is server active directory repair mode and of course we have to launch our command prompt in admin mode so I'll type CMD and always run it as an administrator here we go okay and we'll be using the same command line utility wp admin and in order to see all the version that we have actually uh, backupped we use get version options So here you can see that they have actually done a lot of backups but of course we will choose the last one we have actually done which is this third one here and the most important uh, thing that we have to note is the version identifier because we'll be using this version identifier in order to restore our last backup okay so in order to restore our uh, backup or active directory backup we use the same command w p admin start so in order to save it save the backup we use system state backup but this time we'll use system state but recovery this time okay and of course we have to specify which version here we're using the last one 23 so make sure you type it with no error okay here we go so let's launch it and see what we get of course here the message if you want to start the system state recovery and we'll hit yes of course you want to continue yes and of course here you have to restart your server So of course it will uh, actually uh, take some minutes in order to recover our active directory to its uh, last 
backup state. So now, as you can see, the recovery of the system state successfully completed. Okay. So we have actually uh, to restart our server in order to complete the operation. Okay. So here, actually, I have to answer yes in order to restart our server. So here, as you can see, so here, as you can see, once again, we cannot log into the domain because we are still in safe mode. So actually, all we have to do is to log on to with our local uh, account. Okay. Then to run once again. So you can see here the system state recovery operation that started has successfully computed so we have to press enter to continue here we go and once again we have to actually run our msconfig command in order to boot this time in normal mode so we have to get rid of this safe boot okay so now let's start our server in uh, normal mode and see if indeed we have restored our deleted organizational unit called cells. Here we go. Okay, so let's log on now to the domain. Here we go. So let's check our computer Active Directory users on computers. Okay. Here we go. So indeed, as you can see, our sales organizational unit has been restored. So let's see if we still have our three users and indeed they are there okay so we have successfully restored our organizational uh, unit and our active directory so this is the best way actually to backup and restore active directory okay so that was just a brief uh, video how to show you how to backup and restore active directory using the windows backup server utility as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.